Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. Sometime last year, I shared with you my first video on how you can create a diversified investment portfolio via G-Invest. I did that video when G-Invest only had five investment funds. And now, with four new funds that are about to launch under G-Invest's new G-Funds category. This brings a total of investment funds under G-Invest at 11 funds. So you now have a lot more to choose from. You might be a little confused. So in this video, this is what we'll look to cover. This is an update on how you can create a diversified investment portfolio simply through G-Invest. But before anything, please note that I am not a professional financial advisor. All my videos have been made based on the premise that this is my own personal experience and these are my own investment strategies. So please watch this video with a little grain of salt. But first and foremost, why diversify in the first place? Well, diversification is really a means for you to hedge your bets so that if one unfortunately goes bust, you still have your money in different financial instruments so that you are protected. You still have a strong upside to make your money back or even yield great returns by putting your money in different types of investment instruments. So strictly speaking, if you really wanted to diversify your portfolio, I actually recommend that you use different banks, different apps, so that you are also not putting all your eggs into just one investment app. But anyway, that's something for you to think about in the longer term. For the purpose of this video, I am sharing here how you can create a diversified portfolio simply in Gcash. I guess this is just a start on how you can really start thinking about and strategize your portfolio. So that's been a lot of disclaimers. Let's now proceed. So let's start with 7030. As mentioned in my video last year, 7030 is usually the investment ratio that amateurs or even professional investors go by. So 7030 would be referring to the two popular investment instruments, one being stocks and the other being bonds. So let's start with a smaller piece of the pie. By 30, we mean 30% of your investment portfolio is allocated to bonds. Now from Gcash, there are actually two bond funds. The first being the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund and the other is the Atram Money Market Fund. Now between these two, the Total Return Peso Bond Fund is actually the one that has a little more risk, is a little bit more volatile. And the other bond fund, the Money Market Fund, I actually think is a little boring. So for the 30% of the bond fund, I'd actually buy into the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. If you would like to split the 30% between these two funds, 15-15, that's fine as well. Now that the smaller pie is out of the way, let's move on to the 70%. We still have another 9 funds to choose from that are either a stock equity fund or a balance fund. So for the remaining 70%, 10% of this, I would allocate to the BPI Philippine Stock Index Fund. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I actually like to split my money between the local market and the US and global markets. So again, this is not a political piece whatsoever. We as Filipinos, we know that we are just a developing market. While the global markets have a lot more structure, quite simply, they have a better historical performance. Another way to look at how I would diversify my money would be 40% for the Philippines, so that's the 30% in the bond fund, and 10% in the Philippine Stock Index Fund. And the rest of the 60% will be the ones for the global market. So for funds that are watching the global market, we have a lot to choose from from G Invest's G Funds. Let's start with 15%. I would allocate 15% of my money in the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. Now, in my previous videos, I also shared that the Global Technology Feeder Fund is mainly comprised of a lot of the Silicon Valley companies, Amazon, Google, Apple. So if you've been watching the market, you know that these technology stocks are actually down right now. Even if they are down right now, I think it's an easy bet for me to think that the future of the whole markets will of course still be hanging on the performance of these global technology companies. So the first 15% that I'm allocating is an easy choice, the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. So we have 45% left. The next selection, which I'll actually allocate 25% of my funds, I would put this in the BPI ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund. Now I've covered this in several videos in the past, 
And this fund is pretty much like a balance fund. Of course, it helps that this fund has monthly dividends and that's always a good thing. So that's why I'm putting in a little bit more of my money in this fund. So we are down to just 20%. I'm just selecting two more funds and I will give both these funds 10% each. This would be for the Atram Global Infra Equity Feeder Fund and the other would be for the Atram Global Healthcare Feeder Fund. So these are the two of the new funds that are just about to launch. The Global Infra Equity Feeder Fund invests in infrastructure comprised of gas storage, transportation, renewable energy. So I find this fund very interesting because it's not dependent on consumer habits. Infrastructure makes up how a country and the global markets perform. And I think this would be a very crucial part of your portfolio. And lastly, for the Global Healthcare Feeder Fund, in some ways you can also look at healthcare as part of the whole global infrastructure. Obviously, the health industry is an essential part of our global well-being. So definitely research, medicine, hospital facilities, all of these will be under the Global Healthcare Feeder Fund. And just in case that there is another pandemic, knock on wood, these companies are sure to lead the way. They are not only creating a good social impact, but they are also quite profitable. So yes, that's how I would split up my money. Again, technically speaking, it would be best if you can actually use different apps, different banks, different brokers. But maybe that's something that you are looking at in the future, especially if you're new to investing. These percentages are sort of a guide whenever you invest, if it's daily, weekly, monthly. Maybe you are not following this closely each time you invest. Have this serve as your guide as to how you distribute your funds for you to have a balanced approach on how you can really make the most out of your money. So for example, if you had 10,000 pesos to invest, 30% that goes to the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund would be 3,000 pesos. 10% that goes to the BPI Philippine Stock Index Fund would be 1,000 pesos. The 15% that goes into the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund would be 1,500 pesos. And the 25% would be 2,500 pesos that you would allocate for the BPI ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund and the remaining 20% would be 1,000 pesos each for the Atram Global Healthcare Feeder Fund and the Atram Infra Equity Feeder Fund. So that's for me. How do you split up your investment portfolio? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!